Now it's time to learn how to make structs. And structs in Rust, uh, I think, are super fun. They are, um, so a struct is uh, basically uh, creating your own, uh, your own type, uh, your own data structure. So uh, a struct is a, uh, well, actually there are three, three kinds of, uh, of structs in Rust. Uh, don't, don't let that scare you, but uh, uh, the first one is, uh, Oh, by the way, this uh, this is the case that uh, Rust likes you to use uh, for structs. It's called um, well, actually, it's called upper camel case. Uh, some people call it Pascal case, but anyway, it's uh, it's an upper uh, uppercase letter, uh, no spaces, you know, not this, and uh, each uh, each word has, it starts with an uppercase letter. So uh, this is a uh, you know, the simplest type of struct. This is called a unit struct. And this doesn't have anything. It's um, it's useful in some cases. Uh, we can look at that later. But uh, basically, this just makes a type that uh, doesn't hold anything. And, um, you know, you'll, you'll see why they're sometimes useful later. But usually, you won't be uh, making many, many structs with uh, nothing in them. Uh, the next one is called a... Uh, called a tuple struct and that's because it's just a tuple um, so let's say we have a struct with a color and last time we had uh, you know the RBG like that and so let's say this time we want to uh, to give it a name and uh, this is how it looks as a struct so this is a uh, you know, it's got, it's got its own name, and uh, it will need to have uh, you know three U8s in it. And so, actually, let's uh, let's declare some variables. So uh, my directory equals file directory, and then let's uh, some colors equals color. Oops, not like that. Um, fifty, sixty, and uh, zero. So let's make sure that works. So there you go. We have created our first structs. Uh, we're not doing anything with them. And so it says, you know, this is unused, but uh, we did create them. Um, <clears throat> now let's, uh, actually we can we can print part of this one. Let's try that. So the, uh, the first color is, and then you can say some colors dot zero. And so you can see it works <clears throat> just like a tuple, because it is a tuple with a name. So that is how that works. And then after that is the, uh, the named struct. And these ones are the, uh, I think the most fun. Uh, they're the most, uh, probably the most common. And I'm going to, and it's because their their variables have names. So you'll say like, yeah, uh, you know, first color, something like that, except these ones, go inside curly brackets. And we're going to call this one size and color. <clears throat> and we'll give it a name, or its variables name, zip. So, uh, you know, size, we are going to say, uh, that's a U32. And the color, well, we can actually put this, this color in there. So now we have a struct that uses another struct as one of its variables. So let's see what that looks like. And I go back to main and we will say, okay, let my color equals color and uh, it will be 50, zero, 50. And then we are going to uh, name another one called size and color. And this one is going to be a size and color. And these ones, uh, you know, they go inside the uh, the curly brackets. And so you will uh, you will need to specify what's the size and what's the color. And so the size is going to be I don't know 150, 150 what I don't know. And then the color is going to be we'll use this. 
So my color, like that. And then, yeah, now it's uh, now it's inside our struct. Let's move this over here, and don't forget the uh, the semicolon. And one uh, one interesting thing you might have noticed is that here we have a semicolon, and here we have a semicolon, and here we don't. And that's because uh, this code block takes care of it, whereas uh, over here uh, these are not code blocks. So uh, so you need the the semicolon to, to show that it's uh, that it's finished.